Welcome to Profile Traders. This is Reza and you're listening to my market analysis for December the 17th. So yesterday you all listened uh, to Janet Yellen interview after her rate hikes. And uh, if you are into studying the economy and keeping track of what is going on, you would have been in a state of shock to listen to a Federal Reserve banker that is living in its own or her own fantasy land. So the woman was justifying that the rate hikes was done because of such an improving economy, such an improving job market, and she also mentioned rising wages. Just to remind her that an economy that is growing at a barely 1.5% after having increased our debt by $10 trillion, it is not a thriving economy and it is nothing good about it. A fake 5.0% unemployment where 94 million people out of a population of 310 million out of the job market it's not a star a, 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 a unbelievable job market average income for the middle class has not gone up for the last eight years but rather it has come down of an average of four thousand dollars per year per household so Smart Money was listening to her talking in her fantasy language of how things are so great that the Fed went ahead and hiked the rates. And I even heard few imbeciles with their ties and their suits coming on TV and calling it a bullish rate hike. There is no such a thing as a bullish rate hike. Every single time that the interest rate goes up, it's <coughs> direct competition from low risk assets versus high risk assets being the stock market. And every time rates go up, it makes borrowing from corporations to the individuals to everybody more difficult so as a result you already have noticed that the rates of variable mortgages variable rate mortgages credit cards car loans consumer loans everything has gone up and every quarter that it goes up the difference for the pocket of the consumer is few hundred dollars per bill so the market after having rallied pretty much 75 points up from its low, managed to open with a gap up to today, which was an absolute ridiculousness. And it was very obvious at the very bare minimum, we were going to come down towards 2060 to fill in the gap, but it happened to be even a more and a stronger selling that I was expecting within the first half hour after it was clear that the next half hour couldn't challenge the wheel of that aggressive seller from the top then we collapsed and extended the range down with the C period then we went rotational for a while and they were hoping that possibly later in the afternoon they could have bring this thing up and jumpstart a rally to retrace the top after they found enough evidence of rotational support taking place at the bottom of the day. But once it became evident that there was not, no, not enough buying power left to bring it up, this thing reversed in the last half hour and literally collapsed down almost between yeah we collapsed down 20 points in a matter of 30 something minutes and now we close at the very bottom of the day which is an extraordinary 
bearish closing. Certainly the fact that this drop was initiated the last two time bracket of the day cannot be fully trusted because it could have been forced business at the very last minute and market did not have time to correct itself but what happened is there cannot be changed as a result now 2038 is extremely important resistance as long as we remain below that by either coming testing it or rotating below it at some point we should be exiting to the downside and we have two downside objective as target 201475 and then 199975 in the very bigger picture this all could be still part of a retracement of this last leg up and it still could do something bullish by stopping right around those two POCs and continue up but we cannot deny the fact that this drop was very very directional very steep very fast and therefore even after finding support within the last leg up if we come up it will be very difficult to break this top because this is a footprint of a very aggressive seller into the market and very reasonably as well because who would want to buy an all-time high in the market when the fed just took the rates higher with the worst timing possible and on the top of it in the middle of holiday season and everything else so based on today's structure in my book as as long as we are below 20 38 and a half we are in a short-term bearish move and minimum 2015 should hit the first poc and then if it really wants to get ugly we are going to go test the 2000 and then after that we will reevaluate if we get down there if on the other hand we manage to return into 2038 then we could possibly rotate back up but after that 2050 is main resistance and that's from where today we fail to break on the upside and that's from where we started the collapse to the downside so 2050 very important resistance prior to that 2038 and on the downside two downside objectives 2014-75 and then 1999-75. As for crude oil, it did follow the collapse of the euro today. Euro kind of crashed down. And every time there is a rally in the dollar, it's a negative for crude, no question about it. So now all eyes on this recent low of 34 and a half if we do break that we must see the nature of the break because this is very new to the market it has been a many 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 years that we haven't been to these low levels so once we break that we need to see if it's cheap enough now that that break will be bought into it because of very oversold or if truly we are going to break the 34 and a half with vengeance and if that's the case we need to see how much lower we can go from there I truly don't have much of a support below this 34 and a half because I haven't even looked back at my chart that far away to see what's below 34 and a half on the upside minor resistance now is the bar is the top of this consolidation so I would label 3520 as resistance one if we can pierce through that 3520 tonight or tomorrow morning then most likely we should go to towards 3575 and then 3612 again this was reza with profile traders thank you for listening and talk to you tomorrow and be reminded tomorrow is the last day of the week and also the last day of the option expiration